so that's how it is. How do you get away with it? Because like your your wife, for instance, would definitely be there to support Karan Johar yeah, or anyone else. Knows. How do you get every, away every, with everybody it? Everybody knows the way I am, and you know, uh, nobody pushes me then. So you just have to say, I'm not coming and that's the end of that. Yeah. They don't even ask you anymore, right? Yeah, no, they do also, but then I say, <laughs> but I have... Uh, one day will come when you'll want to go and no one will ask you, you know? I don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now we're going to play a little game called Couch Confession. You've played oh it God. before, but uh, we've changed some of the questions. So, what are you most thankful for? Uh, I think my family. What is the biggest delusion of uh, grandeur that you've encountered in this industry? Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, you come across people like these, and uh, not just in our industry. I think it's everywhere. It's everywhere. I mean, uh, when, whenever there's an important person, the people, are, the people around him are uh, like this. So I can't give you an instance, but uh, there are people. Yeah, of course. What is name one living person that you most admire today? I really can't think of somebody right now. And a living person that you think the world can do without? There are most of them. <laughs> what is your greatest fear? My greatest fear is uh, is is uh, is being alone. Uh, is uh, being being alone without your family or friends or who you're very close to. I wouldn't want that to happen ever. What is your current state of mind? I'm happy. That's a brilliant state of mind to have. What would you instantly fall in love with? <sighs> instantly. I think a good car. <laughs> what, what is your greatest extravagance then? At least when it comes to cars. Right now I don't have a great car. With me. I mean I have a normal Merc S class and things like this. You're bored of already. Yeah, I had a Maserati. Um, uh, but I, I, but I've, I've gotten over it because you know Bombay is not uh, worth having such cars, and you, eventually you land up keeping them in your garage and don't use them. Or drive it like 30 kilometers now, exactly. which was a point. Exactly. Or balance it on a speed breaker and play seesaw. <laughs> okay. What is the most ridiculous dialogue that you've ever spoken or heard? <laughs> 